<laughs> hey YouTube, this is Dirty LM. Um, I'm coming today to make a video because I'm having ADHD kind of with my locks. Okay, so if you guys watched the previous videos, you saw that I had my Bantu knots and then I had my curls. And then in Connecticut, it decided to snow at the end of October. I'm from North Carolina. We get lucky if we get snow on Christmas. So, it decided to snow. Of course, I was like, oh, snow, my hair, snow on my hair, snow melts, curls fall. So, my curls weren't looking great. Okay, so that made me get tired of them very quickly. And now, as you see, I have them up in my little ponytail. Well, not even a ponytail, in my bun thing. My hair isn't actually long enough to fit into a bun. It's all an illusion. If you would like to see how I make myself have a... I know it looks really sloppy, but that's because I've been messing with it and stuff. But, um... Let me get some light. Okay, yeah. If you would like to see how I get my hair in this, even though it's not even long enough to actually fit into a ponytail, I will make a quick video for it, because... It is something that somebody would be like, oh, that's all you do? But, you know, you wouldn't have thought about it. And this scarf, I got it from Mexico, so no, you can't get it from Target. Sorry. But I think it's really cute, and orange is my favorite color. So anyways, yes, so I have hair ADHD, and it's bothering the crap out of me. And I'm also addicted to tr YouTube dreadlocks. Uh, that's not right, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not like that type of person to be on YouTube, just looking at music videos, blah, blah, blah. But I will stay up here for hours looking at dreadlock videos, which I'm about to do right now. I actually have one up in, like, on my screen. Um, so, it's getting really bad. And now I'm afraid that my hair is going to fall out because I don't leave it alone. If you can be a person who has longer dreads than me, which my locks... Like, my front one doesn't even come down to about right here. So, if you have, like, shorter length ones and you were like this, like, styling your hair, like, every week um, or so, and you can pledge for me that, no, your hair's not going to break off, and that's great. And I'm not trying to tell my subscribers, don't ever style your hair, but I know for a fact that when you do it very, very often, you know, your hair can start thinning out. That's just, like, you know, retwisting it too often. Um... It helps to have it really wet and saturated when you style it, but definitely don't, like, style it every day. And I think also don't have it in the same style too often, because that might hurt it too. It's just like when you have, like, when somebody ties their hair back into a really, really tight ponytail every single day, and your hairline will slowly but surely start receding for most people. So, it's the same idea. Sorry. I'm a chapstick fiend. Um, yeah. I know, I'm, I'm just OCD, you guys. I have a lot of problems. Um, I'm not, like, intense OCD where it, like, ruins my life, but I am definitely OCD. Um, I'm sorry. This video's terrible. <laughs> yes, so, if you can, comment on my video. Tell me about any more information you can give me about styling your hair and how it leads to breakage. Um, that would be highly appreciated. Oh, and also, fun fact, you guys, I have a video that I think a lot of people like. It's like one of the video, my lot videos that most people have watched, I think. Um, and it's about dreadlocks and water. And I actually met a girl at college this past weekend because we had a blackout. So I was meeting all types of people. But, um, yeah, she's an RA hair at Wesleyan. And she has dreads. And she's had them since, like, did you say 1998 or some some long time a long time quite a few years and she used to swim like every single day and obviously every single day who's gonna wash their dreadlocks every single day so she did it and the only thing the chlorine does obviously it's a chemical it's bad but I guess she could wash it like a week every two weeks still but it just slowly but surely dyed her hair like it bleached her hair so at the tip, she has a little bit of brown, and I, I'm pretty sure that's just from her, like, swimming, not from her actually dyeing her hair. So, beware of chlorine, because it will bleach your hair, so obviously it is bad for you. 
So, um, but that's that's what I can say about cool water. So watch out for that. Okay, so that was just a little side note. Um, but let me know about styling my hair, and um, I'll try my best for people like me who have the shorter locks and who watch YouTube constantly because they're trying to find lock videos that fit to your hairstyle. I'll try my best to get more um, styles out there. In fact, after I look at all these videos, maybe I'll find a style and I can do it for you guys. Okay, um, once again, if you want me to do the bun thing, just let me know. Leave a comment below and you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks for watching.